Hello, I am Dr. Girish Nilivigi, urologist and andrologist from Nilivigi Multispeciality and Urology Hospital, Belandur, Bangalore. Many elderly men come to urologist with difficulty in passing urine. This is termed as bladder outlet obstruction and most of these causes are due to enlargement of the prostate which occurs in elderly men. Apart from difficulty in passing urine, the person may also have increased urinary frequency wherein he has to visit the toilet very often both in the day as well as in the night. He also tells the doctor that he passes urine but he feels some urine remains inside which makes him go to the toilet again. So the second time when he goes to the toilet, he will pass a few drops of urine or a few cc of urine and comes back. Sometimes there could be urgency in passing urine. The person is sitting in a meeting or he is traveling, going in a bus or driving. He suddenly has to get up from the meeting or stop the vehicle to visit a toilet. In rare cases, there could be so much of urgency that the urine leaks before the person visits the toilet. The person may also say that he spends a long time in the toilet. For example, in a public toilet, he observes that many others have passed urine and gone, but he is still passing urine even after one minute, one and a half minutes, two minutes. All these symptoms indicate bladder outlet obstruction, which is, as I told, because of enlarged prostate in old age. This affects almost all the men above the age of 50, 55, 60, etc. And when you go to the doctor, he carries out a few tests like some urine tests, urine flow assessment, ultrasound of the abdomen, and some specialized blood test. He also does a physical examination to assess the size of the prostate. Based on these, he prescribes medicine which have to be taken on a daily basis. These medicines are very effective and in almost all the cases, relieve the symptoms of bladder obstruction. Only in rare situations, they do not help or they are partly effective. In that case, the doctor may advise you to undergo surgery of the prostate. This surgery of the prostate is nowadays endoscopic. Previously, they were doing open surgeries, but now this surgery is endoscopic, which means there is no cut and there is no stitch. It could be TURP, wherein the prostate surgery is done by using electric current or it could be a laser surgery where the prostate surgery is done using laser as an energy source. The typical hospital stay after prostate surgery is 48 hours. There will be a tube in the urinary passage for 48 hours and at the end of 48 hours this tube is removed and the patient can go home. So this is a very effective surgery and results in good relief of symptoms. Thank you.